How do birds sleep? Human beings, when they get exhausted, need rest, and they have to sleep to obtain their energy back for performing physical activity. Similarly, birds are very engaging animals, and hence they are always flying, so their body gets worn out. As a result, the metabolic rate of birds is very high, and they have to get rest as well. You may have seen a duck on a leg sleeping or an owl sleeping during the day. It is not easy to see a bird sleeping. We humans when sleep we are entirely in a numbed state, but that's not the case with the birds. They can control their sleep patterns. It is a fascinating fact that they can sleep with one eye open, and that explains only half of the part of their brain that is in resting mode. It is called a unihemispheric sleep wave. In this situation, the remaining part of the brain is active and can look for any danger and threat. There are no clear pieces of evidence about how they control their sleeping behaviors, but research says that when a bird feels protected and safe, it is more likely to sleep like a baby. However, birds are always in an engaging situation, therefore, they mostly use the USWS technique. It is even observed that some species of birds like migrating birds or other aerial species can even sleep with one eye in while they are flying. How do birds sleep in a flock? It's a coping strategy which helps the birds to rest and fly at the same time. It also increases the chance of survival of each bird. Because in a flock there are more birds to look after for a predator. When winter approaches the small birds like chickadees, blue tits and bluebirds mostly flock together. So that they can share meals and they also travel for warm and confined places so that they can maintain their body temperatures in the winter. You have also definitely observed that birds get puffed up while they are resting. They do that because they protect their fragile body parts by safeguarding them with feathers. When they puff themselves up, they create air sacs which maintain their body temperatures and provide heat in the colder environments. They also pull their one feet up while sleeping, it saves the body heat. The legs and feet of the birds also play an essential role in the sleeping process. We know about muscles and tendons. When birds bend their legs, the tendon muscles shrink their toes, and their feet get tightly locked to the pole. This technique does not let them fall off even when they are in a deep sleep. The contracted muscles are only released when the birds consciously straighten up its leg. Do birds sleep? Yes, they do need rest to accumulate the wasted energy, so the birds have to sleep for this purpose. But by the time they have developed some specific techniques to sleep in hazardous environments without getting caught up by any predator. Where do birds sleep at night? Many birds will mostly sleep at the places where they spend most of their day, but you know there are other things as well, which also has an impact on the places where they love to sleep. Why can birds sleep on branches? particularly perching birds which sleep on a pole for such a long period and don't fall off. These birds have skeletal adaptations for sleeping on perches or branches. Human beings have two bones starting from their hip to the foot. But, birds have two bones. When a bird lands on the branch or perches, the tendon gets tightened up. As a result, the toes of the bird's feet get curled up. To us, it may seem that birds are putting a lot of effort while maintaining their balance on a branch, but it sets their natural mechanism, and there is no energy used in the process. When the birds want to wake up the tendon releases, and the toes get straightened up, and the bird is ready to fly. Don't forget like and subscribe my channel and click on bell button for more videos.